Many of you have the dilemma on whether to get a cruiser like this decked out bagger that has everything on it, like a GPS, stereo system, etc. for 30 plus thousand dollars or get an adventure motorcycle that has all the amenities that cruiser has and can do everything that cruiser can do and more, but for less, 20 plus thousand dollars. So what do you get? Should you follow the crowd and get the badass looking old geezer cruiser? Or should you get the trendy kick ass adventure motorcycle? In this video guys, I'm going to tell you why I think adventure motorcycles are Let's go for a ride! Oh, oh, oh. Subscribe today! Whatever motorcycle you ride, make sure you wear the full gear to help keep you safe. And I have some awesome gear. I have links to my ultimate lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield my motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe sheet shorty gloves all my gear i include links in the description and comment section of my video i tell you guys a positive thing i can say about adventure motorcycles is that they are great cruisers comfort cruisers for you old geezers out there <laughs> they don't want to get an old geezer harley davidson <laughs> so there is a positive thing to it yeah baby and you can bust some wheelies on them i've seen some guys bust some wheelies on adventure bikes i mean you can have some fun with them don't get me wrong you can have fun with any motorcycle a lot of you guys scoff at me that when i talk about a bike's weight you like cycle cruiser what are you a little weakling or something man don't worry about the weight of a bike you guys are the ones out here <laughs> that are riding these old big harleys out here which ain't nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong man these big seven eight hundred nine hundred one ton pound harleys out here and you just cruise in a straight line if that's all you're doing out here then weight doesn't matter it really doesn't because you're just you're not doing nothing you're not busting wheelies you're not you know uh going into twisties much or anything you're, you're just going a, a big old straight line you, these adventure motorcycles they're so heavy most of them are 500 plus pounds even the almighty honda africa twin which is a good looking adventure bike don't get me wrong but the sucker is like what 500 something pounds the purpose of adventure adventure motorcycle is to take it off road that that's what it implies right that you could take it off road and they, they even show like commercials where they're going through like water and and on dirt roads and oh you can go anywhere you know like it's a like it's a jeep wrangler or something no no you do not want to take an adventure bike off road okay because if you you will drop if you go off road it's not a question of if it's a question of when you will drop the bike and trust me try picking up a 500 pound top heavy bike like adventure bikes guys yes you could do it but it's really going to take a lot of expend a lot of energy and you could end up getting a hernia and I, some of you old dudes out there you're not going to be able to lift that that bike that well you know and it'll sap your energy and you drop it a couple of times trying to go off road and god forbid don't do it by yourself hold on make sure they hear you baby defense 101 because i'll tell you you will have a hell of a time trying to get that bike back on the street <laughs> if you keep dropping it and it's some gnarly terrain you know what i'm saying they are not dual sports adventure bikes are basically comfort cruisers what's great about them they they have a, a, a lot of room for leg room they have all the amenities on the bike and and you can go and it's got a great big shield and you can really go long distance those are really touring bikes and there's nothing wrong if you're going to get a bike for touring and that's what you enjoy doing there's nothing wrong with that at all don't get me wrong it, um, but for people like me that like to have fun, bust wheelies, get into twisties, and, and, and go crap around off-road and stuff like that, adventure bike is not the way to go. There's a motor vlogger that found out the hard way with that, you know, that he now rides a lot of, you know, dirt bikes and stuff, but he started off on adventure bike, and he got injured, and <laughs> and uh, he, he realized that adventure bikes are not a bike to have adventure on. 
<laughs> except for on the on the uh, the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, baby. What's this? Winners out here. <laughs> yeah. Having a good old time out here. You know what I'm saying, boy? Stop asking me, telling me, Cycle Cruise, you need to get an adventure bike, okay? Stop it. Stop it. There's no adventure to be had on an adventure bike, okay? <laughs> All right? When it comes to dual sports and true adventure, you want lightweight. You know what I'm saying? The weight of the bike is either going to be a friend or an enemy to you out here. If you're not going to do any off-roading at all, and you, like I said, you want to travel or something, then hey, then that is the bike uh, that's probably good for you. And if you're... If you're a boring rider <laughs> that just likes to toot around here and and want to be comfortable and have all the amenities and uh, your radio the gps and, and uh to go to the corner store and hey the adventure bike is for you yes we got a lot of boring people out there and there's nothing wrong with being boring okay yeah baby we out here <laughs> but i tell you that uh you know if i do ever get into touring where I'm going across the country. Honestly, I probably, I would still would get an adventure bike. If it were me, I would get a, a KTM 690 SMCR, the Supermoto 690. Very low maintenance, pretty lightweight at like 340, 350 pounds. It's light enough that you can take off road and enjoy that bike. Or you can get the KTM 790 or 890 Adventure R motorcycle that's only a tick over 400 pounds. Uh, a bit hefty when you start messing around off-road, but you can get by off-road with it and have a little bit of fun like you see here. Or you can get adventurous on the ever-popular and ultra-reliable Yamaha Tenier 700. They just came out with a new bike for 2022, and it looks awesome. And it's got that awesome parallel twin engine. But this is a bit more heavier at 452 pounds. But look at this guy, man. He's ripping it up out there in the desert. Or if you want an adventure bike that it's really lightweight you always have the KTM 390 adventure and it only costs 6800 bucks and it pumps out 44 horsepower and 27 pounds feet of torque at 362 pounds wet and to me that's the bike to get if you want to get an adventure bike really yeah baby but you know the adventure motorcycles are all the rage right now that's what a lot of people are getting they're highly popular um, a lot of people, a lot of these old dudes and young dudes are ditching their Harleys for the adventure bike. And uh, honestly, you might as well get a little bit more comfort on the adventure bike than the Harley Davidson. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just make sure you wave. Unlike that Harley Davidson rider, which they hardly ever wave. Unless it's another Harley Davidson rider. <laughs> but uh, no respect. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's another reason to get rid of the Harley Davidson because that... For some reason, Harley Davidsons make people disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like I said, I'm not hating on the adventure bike. I'm just saying, giving my opinion on why I don't like, uh, why adventure bike, I feel adventure bikes are overrated. You know, a lot of you guys are gonna, in the comments will probably say, Cycle Cruiser, you're wrong. You need to try an adventure bike and stop, you know, stop talking trash about it. Tell me guys, with me trying that bike, how am I gonna like that? What, what's gonna make me like that bike by trying that bike, seriously? Yeah, they, a lot of them have great power, don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna tell you, getting on that bike, all I'm gonna do on that bike is just rip the throttle on it. Yeah, that could be fun, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? I can't go ride off the beaten path. You know what I'm saying? I can't get crazy with it because I'm not gonna wanna drop that big old Whopper bike. And like I said, them bikes are top heavy, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, leave a comment below. What do you guys think about adventure bikes? I want to hear your what you guys have to say about it. Um, I, that's why I do these videos to incite community discussion. I love talking with you guys about bikes. Um, that's what feeds my passion um, with this channel. And I appreciate all you guys. Make sure to hit thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. 
Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new writers and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.